Right, back on track again. Another two people passed me, so... I think you can just put it on pause, but what I do, I take photos in between the videos. Then I can always join the videos up. So sometimes if you see like a, a blip, it's because where I've joined two up, or I've edited some bits out that might be blurry or something. Now, those people who think uh, I want music to my videos, you think it seem better. Um, no, it's uh, my my videos will be boring. Um, they do tend to be very not similar. I'm going in different places, different events happened in the world, and that sort of thing. I often refer to. Um, no, nothing totally traumatic on a global scale at the moment, except that North Korea, and they've got missiles now that can reach anywhere in the world, nuclear missiles, whether that's true or not, I don't know. Anyway, I don't really want to think about that when I'm out here. I'm just doing a little bit of video, right? It might be more boring and mundane. So somebody showed me the gadget they had on their £600 smartphone. So they said it only costs £7 for this app. And uh, the map, this app, it's got like maps and directions, a bit more sophisticated than a GPS. And... Um, It takes you every stone of the way. And, um, but of course, what, what happens is with people that are using that particular method all the time is that uh, they are so glued. It's a bit like people falling down holes when they're glued to their mobile phones. It's very similar. That the, they're not looking at, around them so much. Well, they're doing it in a different way. I mean, I, I use my viewfinder when I want to home in on something. I, I'll hold it up here and, and then zoom in with my viewfinder, which is very handy, actually, for picking out detail. And it keeps the camera very still. And uh, it is jumpy swervy and sway because I'm just an ordinary plodding walker with a camera and uh, YouTube is a type of storage facility I don't have to make them public of course and there's some that aren't public I've got videos I don't show the public nothing nasty it's usually due to confidentiality reasons um if I'm on somebody's farm or something that I know, but they don't want everyone else to know about their land or their home. You know, there's private family stuff that I don't put on. It never goes on YouTube, or if, if there is something, it's private. <sighs> Learned that very early with the, with the web. We've all had learning curves with the web. And we all know on a daily basis to upgrade, update, change your passwords, because we're constantly under attack from scammers, hackers. People want to steal your identity and your stuff. This is an ongoing thing. I do a security and check every single day. Even though my computer does it automatically, I still go over it. Before I start doing anything, I'm very suspicious of adverts. Anything I don't recognise as such. There's Robert Warren right over there now.
and the other week I was up further up the top and there is a path going along the top there several paths so this is a little, just a little bit of a video of the walk along the area of outstanding beauty the Blackdown Hills I do have wild ponies or horses up here and last year they harvested but it's a bit bigger they harvested all this all of it look that's naughty isn't it someone leaving their foil if an animal eats that it really hurt their stomach the acid on foil is dangerous people don't realize that when you're eating your sandwich that's wrapped in foil or whatever else you're eating make sure all the foil is off because when that enters your elementary canal when it enters your stomach the enzymes the acid will attack the aluminium and you'll get a sort of nasty reaction so uh, it could pierce holes in your gullet put it that way see right down the valley there there's Western Hillport over there Western Supermare over there So I'm checking my arms every now and again. I, I put some pestis, some sort of anti-pest spray on very, very lightly today. <sighs> because the last time I was out, I got savaged by um, horse flies. So I'm hoping this stuff will last on me. So I've got to, it's mainly when you go near animals. Because uh, apparently horse flies need big mammals to get their su sufficient blood supply. Blood for a feed yeah we're coming up to some of the hottest parts of the day now half past 12 going on for one In a minute we'll leave these trees and we'll be more out in the open. Then I have to, a bit later on, I've got to climb upwards on a longer track. Then I leave the area of Outstanding Beauty and head down through some fields towards Longwood, Piney Slights and Cheddar, if I go that route. If not, Longwood. Black Rock and Cheddar. I'll decide near the time. So this is where you've got to make sure you've got water, a little bit of a sustenance to keep your glucose levels up. I forgot my hat, so there's a possibility I might use my very thin denim top as um, a head protector in a minute. I'll just get up here before I turn off. There's a little bit of shade here before we. Keep an out for look out for snakes. Right, over and out. <sighs> 